All right, so I got my bed in the shop here um, for this F-350 Harley Davidson edition super cab, uh, eight foot bed. Um, and I'm gonna be replacing the entire floor here. Uh, I got a brand new factory floor, uh, about 500 bucks uh, from, from Ford. Um, definitely worth the money to go this route, uh, especially if your cross members are as bad as this. And, uh, and the floor is rotten too. Uh, it's got a few holes in it above the cross members. Um, so what I started doing is I got all the, I got all the, the uh, spot welds around the entire thing uh, drilled out with an eighth inch bit. Um, I'm using I'm using a uh, the double sided bit. You can buy these uh, pretty much anywhere. Uh, I bought them on Amazon. Don't skimp. Make sure you get a good one. Uh, these are Irwin's. Irwin makes a nice product. Um, it, you don't want to be changing this thing every two seconds. Um, so, uh, and then I'm using a Blair cutter. Uh, it's like a little hole saw uh, to drill out um, from through. You only want to drill through one side uh, with the Blair cutter. Uh, you got to be careful with it. It tends to they, they do tend to jump around a little bit, and you can break the teeth on them. And the uh, the bits and stuff aren't cheap. Um, so I'm gonna start drilling these out and uh, once I get this thing cut off I'll show you what I do next oh and these um, these braces that go across and, and, and go over onto this side all I did was grind these off so rather than drill a hole through the other side and what I'll do is on a new floor I'll just drill a couple of holes and and I'll just plug weld them so that way there's no holes actually through uh, onto the other floor I'll just have to um, to redo the uh, the paint on the other side, that's all. Um, so here we go. Okay, so I got all the um, spot welds all drilled out, uh, all the way around. Um, and really, you only need to drill through the one side. And it's not the best, best picture. Um, and, and the other side will just pop right out if you, you know, if you drill it straight through and it's good to go. So I'm going to use my handy dandy air chisel here uh, and try and get this thing all separated. Just be cautious with the, the air chisel if you're going to use one. Uh, you can do a lot of damage quick. I already ripped the hole over here. I got to have to weld up now. Um, not a big deal. Uh, so anyway, I'll, I'll do another video once I uh, get this thing out. All right, so I got her cut off. Um, I was able to use my my favorite hammer here, and I kind of just whacked the floor all the way around. Uh, I did have to grind a couple of uh, spot welds um, that didn't quite cut all the way around. Um, so it, it bent it up a little bit, a little hammer and dolly work around the edge here, and I'll be in good shape. Um, I got a little bit of cleaning up to do on the rust back here. Um, but as far as uh, being able to get this thing in, it's not gonna be too bad. So it's really not a huge project to put one of these in. Um, and it's really the right way to do it. So I'll take another picture uh, once I get this all prepped up and get the, uh, the new floor all prepped up. Okay, so I got my bed all prepped up here. The, uh, straighten out all the edges, clean them all up. Um, put the uh, weld through primer on there, um, so we're good to go. I did have to cut this back cross member off uh, just so we can get the, the new bit floor in. This is all prepped up, cleaned up, all the edges. Um, just make sure you use that weld through primer because it really does make a huge difference as far as keeping the thing from rusting. So I'll set the thing in place. We'll take another picture here. Okay, so I've got the uh, the new floor all in place here. Um, a little, little tricky getting it in there. Um, you gotta make sure, I had to get underneath and actually push up and make sure that the, the lines were correct and nice and flat on this seam right here. Um, Cause they tend to kind of wobble a little bit. Um, 
So and it, it's all it's all tacked in place. I got a few few plug welds I put in there every foot or so um, around the whole thing. Um, so I got a little more welding to do, but uh, it's in. It's in place. That's the that was the main part. So I'll. Uh, all right. So I got the whole floor all welded up. Uh, I tack welded it all the way around. Or plug welded, excuse me. Um, so I just got to do some grinding. I did have to sandblast and, and put a couple of patches on that uh, front cross member up there. Um, I just didn't have time to grab a new one. Uh, I, re I didn't realize it didn't come with the floor. Um, but I patched it up, so it's good to go. Um, so I'm going to get all these ground down and we'll get some undercoating on the whole thing. Alright, I got all the welds cleaned up. A lot of it I just hit with a wire brush. You don't got to go crazy grinding them. It's all underneath the truck anyway. Um, so it's all cleaned up. I masked the sides. Uh, I just wanted to get a quick shot of it before I uh, started undercoating. Um, there are, I, I did finally count how many welds I did on this and there's 194 welds I had to do uh, to make this happen. So it's a time consuming process for sure. But I'll take another shot once I uh, get some undercoating on here. All right, so I got the bed back on. Uh, I got a little bit of work to do here. I got to clean that up and I'm gonna new, uh, spray a new uh, bed liner on here, uh, just on the floor. Um, the underside of the truck is all undercoated, really, really heavy. Um, I used I used this rust-free uh, rubberized in the coat. It, it is really great stuff. I've used it on lots of uh, lots of cars, and uh, it holds up really well. It takes a while to dry because it sprays on so thick. You got to spray it with a Schutz gun. Um, got mine pretty dirty today spraying this thing but uh, it really does a nice job and uh, I, I tried my best to get it up in all the cross members and everything so that uh, and I did all the you know inside the quarters and everything so um, anyway I'll uh, I'll take another video once uh, once I get this bed line in there show you the finished product Okay, so uh, I've got the uh, floors all done. The, uh, I sprayed the bed liner this morning. Uh, it came out nice. I used uh, Sem Rocket Liner. Um, it sprays well, but you do use quite a bit of it. So for an eight foot bed, uh, one kit probably wouldn't do it. Uh, I used uh, three quarts of it and uh, just to do the floor. And I kind of just blended it up onto the walls into the existing um, liner that was there and uh, it looks good I'm happy with the way it came out so that's it that's how you do a bed floor um, so stay tuned uh, subscribe and uh, I'm gonna be posting more bodywork stuff um, more projects so thanks for watching